Right. Keep in mind that if life only began yesterday on Earth, mm -hmm. it would have taken four and a half billion years for that to happen. Okay. That's a lot of time. A lot of time. It, would make, it would be pretty clear that whatever it is we call life was hard to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Nature was struggling for billions of years. Right. But that's not what actually happened. We have the ingredients of life on Earth, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, other, and they're all here on Earth as they are everywhere else in the universe, mm -hmm. practically everywhere else in the universe. Right. These are the most common ingredients out there, one for one. Number one ingredient in the universe is hydrogen. Okay. Number one element in life on Earth is hydrogen. Okay. Number two in the universe is helium, but it's chemically inert, can't use it. Right. So next in the universe is oxygen. Right. It's the next most abundant element in life on Earth. And then oxygen and the hydrogen come together as water. Right. Okay. And you will also find hydrogen and oxygen in other molecules, but we're mostly water by weight. Okay. Next is carbon. We're carbon based life. Right. And so carbon is next in order in life, it is next in order in the universe. So these ingredients for life on Earth are everywhere. Right. And so the recipe for this is actually the universe itself. The universe itself. Okay. The universe itself. Now, so you have the ingredients. Now you need conditions. Right. Okay. So whatever were the conditions on the early Earth, you, you, we have to ask, were they unique in the galaxy or are they approximately repeated elsewhere? In our current catalogs, we, we have rising through one or two dozen planets in the Goldilocks zone of their host star. Right. As are we on Earth. Right. So that you have all the base ingredients, and in the tiny little blip of the universe we have explored in Search for Planets, mm -hmm. we have found one or two dozen planets in their Goldilocks zone. So now you ask, how long would it take? So you look on Earth, and the evidence, may, and recent evidence shows, we have possible signatures of life on Earth as early as 4.2 billion years ago. Okay. Earth only began four and a half billion years ago. Right. So, but let's even pull that in because that was very recent data and maybe it'll be overturned. Before that, the best evidence puts it at 3.8 to 4 billion years. That means Earth was around for like a half a billion years, then there was life. Then something happened. And something happened. Right. All by itself. There it is. Right. The ingredients, the, the, the time. And the conditions. And the conditions. And it's not billions of years, it's half a billion years. Right. So however much challenge we have creating life in the laboratory from simple organic molecules, nature managed to do it all by itself. Right. Okay. So hence the statistical unlikelihood of it. But if we go around and search every single planet in the galaxy, mm -hmm. which is more realistic than the whole universe. Yes. Are we going to travel between galaxies? We don't know how to do that yet. Right. We, we ain't there yet. Right. But our whole galaxy still and there's no other life, that would force us to look back to Earth and ask, was there something truly unusual mm -hmm. that happened on Earth? Our star isn't odd. No. The location of our planet, the mass of our planet, the fact that there's water, the fact that none of that is, so we'd have to find something that was unusual to right. enable it happen here and then have it happen nowhere else. Alien DNA. <laughs> oh, <go ahead. laughs> Which, of course, uh, negates the entire supposition of well, this, no, even of if this whole case, question. Right. It means it came from somewhere else. Yeah, right, exactly. Aliens. Right. But no, but then if it came from aliens, we'd find the aliens. You have to find the aliens. aliens, right. Yes. That's why I said it negates the supposition of the entire exactly. question. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead. So that would so science would then turn to wondering right. what would be sort of uniquely it would have to be a one in a billion, well, however many pl no uh, planets are out there. It would have to be so rare that it would have happened one in that many planets. Right. Okay, so let's say there's, you know, 10 billion planets. Right. That would be, be one in 10 billion chance of something happening right. on Earth. And but, but, but the same thing is, like you said, all of those planets have the same building blocks yes. that we do. Yes. Yes. So what could that one thing be? Yeah. No, we don't. That's what I'm saying. We don't. Science would have to turn to then try to answer that question. Oh, I got you. That's what it would be. I got you. Yeah, that's all. So we would just have right. So you would have to isolate that one difference. And it's very hard to come up with a strong idea about how and why something is when you only have one example of it. Right. So, so you might ask, will there be something that will compel scientists to say, "Oh, God did it"? Okay. Well, yes. Because this is you know fundamental. Like right. Many religions would assert that Earth is the purpose of the universe and, and the life on Earth, human life on Earth, is the object of God's affection right. anywhere in the universe. Okay, right. so I can tell you that um, we, that I don't know how quickly anyone would start thinking that, mm -hmm. 
But what I can say is that if life on Earth were divinely created, okay, and somehow we're forced to that conclusion, okay, it does not force us to any other divine conclusion, right? Okay, right. It, it, Right? That would be the extent of what you could conclude. Exactly. Because exactly. you would be able to now isolate the fact that this is indeed a creation. Right. However, what you cannot do is infer from that creation the intentions of that creator. Intentions or all the tracks that people have put forth right. that, according to their respective religions, was divinely revealed. Exactly. That you must behave this way and right. worship on this day right. and eat this food right. and don't eat that food right. and treat each other this way right. and not the other way. Right. All of this is sort of the, the packaging of modern religion, or ancient religions as well as modern religions, right. that are not required by the scientist who might be who might land there if, in fact, Earth is the only place with life in the universe. Right. Well, once again, as a scientist, what you would do now is you would have to say, now I need definitive proof that I am supposed to act this way or eat this So we need other kinds of evidence. I need, evi right. I need other evidence. Right, exactly. So now that the evidence has actually said, yes, we are, this is the one thing, we are the, 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 the uh, ingredient X, uh, the chemical, chemical X. X. <laughs> chemical X is God. By the way, you'd have to also add the fact, right? also add the fact, and right. I, I, I posted this during the Super Bowl, where if the football field is a timeline mm -hmm. of the universe, right. where one goal line is the Big Bang, and modern day is the other goal line, then the thickness, the width, the thickness of a blade of turf in, a far, in the far end zone equals the time from cavemen to modern day. Holy crap. Okay. So if, according to the Catholic Church, which accepts evolution but asserts that at some point God breathed a soul yeah, he did something into to primates right, and exactly. that would make us humans distinct from other primates, mm -hmm. that would have happened somewhere in, the in that blade of, of grass. blade of grass. So my point is, if you're going to say God created the universe and created humans in his image, mm -hmm. which is what one might find in Christianity, it's, it would be kind of hard to account. And we're the only life in the universe such that it'd be hard to say well, what what is all that other stuff for what or what's what <laughs> you, you got the whole rest of the timeline right if really all this was created for us why do we miss out on four billion you know on, on 13, 13 billion, billion years of cosmic years. history right why 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 do you wait so long right I mean, these, these would be sensible questions that philosophers would ask right right yeah and then well yeah and the answer would be because he hasn't there is no time for him and so it's no big deal no matter how long you got the answer already yeah the answer is there's no time for okay. god because he is from everlasting to everlasting therefore time and space exists within him oh. so he does not have to worry about time or space because all those things exist inside of him your catechism hat on <laughs> <He's going. laughs> preacher preacher Man, listen, go for it. Listen, I know all this stuff. You know, you know, uh, go for it. He got the explanation. Yeah, that, that would be the explanation, yeah. you know. so. Yeah, but what I would say, you can flip it and say, uh, if your religion requires that human life is the only life and is the purpose of creation, right. and we do find other life, will you abandon your religion? Right. Now, that's a very good question. Yeah, right. That that's just flips the table. Yeah, what does that do to the right. person who believes? Or you find an alien species smarter than we are. Right. Who can just completely manipulate us and put us in a zoo for their entertainment. Do they now become God? Well, so depending on what powers they exhibit, if they don't have the powers that your God and your religion assert, mm -hmm. then you can't then directly say that they're God. Or if they look really different from us, right. we're not in God's we're image. We're not God's image. Right. Right. And it's very, but th that's funny. Yeah. Right. So just, uh, just to be fair in that, Right. And that rotisserie there. That's I got you. Yeah. I got you.